Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to Making Lovers. Last time, uh, they went on a date. The main character and Aiko went on a date. Their sis, their brother and sister. There was just so much Alabama energy. I just could not. I could not stay. But yeah, that was about it. It's a brand new day, so let us continue. Boss, I'm gonna clock out. It's several days after my day with Aiko. There has been no particular interest developments between us since then. I guess that's only to be expected, but still, whenever I see her face, thoughts of what in, what's in store for us next race through my mind, and my heart starts to pound. I can't believe I'm still acting like this even after we kissed and more. God. Pitchy, 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 pitchy. Um, what are you doing in front of the house in the middle of the day? I, I was looking for you. Were you not checking your phone? I sent you so many messages. Huh? Oh, my bad. I accidentally left my phone charging in my room today. Oh, well, you see, Oni chan. Hmm? What? Wait, that's it? Huh? Aiko, you shouldn't panic about every little thing. This is not to panic. Like, literally, when your mom found out that you guys took a shower together. Like, oh my lord. Like, you don't know what's running through her head. Like, does she know you guys were wearing swimsuits? Or does she think, you know, you guys were, you know, in the nude, like... <laughs> you don't know! There's nothing wrong with bathing with your little sister. Ani-chan, your head's not on straight! We're adults! It's not like we're kindergartners anymore! Who cares? Don't under- <laughs> Don't underestimate my record as a siscon. It's only obvious I'd take a bath with you. Listen, Aiko, there's nothing wrong with us. Boy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with us. You seriously? I are, are you kidding me? <sighs> My God, I I thought the Alabama energies are just gonna slow down. No, they increase like three folds. Listen, I go. There's nothing to wrong with us. It's society that's wrong. <laughs> Bows are totally in the safe zone. They're nothing compared to how I made out of Aiko and Grupper tits. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah. I figured it, I figured it was something like that. In this beautiful world of ours, it's common sense that the brother gets in... Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Where's the cat spray? Bam, bam, bam. Stop it. Like... No, stop. In this beautiful world of ours, it's common sense that the brother gets to be the first to see his little sister's new swimsuit. No! I don't know what in what world this common sense is from, but I'm pretty sure it's not this one. <laughs> I enjoy Aiko's special egg fried rice as I watch her and mom do their thing in the living room. Lately, they've been really into that, um, needle felting fat or whatever. It's the it's a type of hand handicraft where you make stuff out of long wool threads. I go make a kangaroo because what else would she make? Hey, you should try making something other than a kangaroo for once. Huh? Have you? Now kangaroos are still number one in my heart! And with that, Aiko returns to stabbing her needle into the woolen creature in her hands with a smile on her face. Apparently, it gets stronger the more you stab at it. Roo, roo, roo! Roo, roo, roo! Ha! It's about 
took time for my daughter to take college engineering exams. But she, but she's here with me in the middle of summer break doing needle felting. And what's with this ru 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 supposed to mean? For goodness sake, as your mother, I feel ashamed to look at you. How has it come to this? Um, are you really bringing this up again? What does it matter? How many times do I have to tell you that you isn't all about finding love? <laughs> okay, then what about other youthful things are you doing? As if you got the room to talk, you're both losers! <laughs> And also, if you don't have sex while you're young, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do in your thirties when the stakes are higher? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's something you should not be telling your daughter. Our mother doesn't have a strength, a shred of tact. My goodness, why did it have to turn out like this? Why is our daughter such a crazed kangaroo girl, and our son a uh, incon incons? Incomprehensible freelancer. Ah, uh, Grandpa, Grandma, I'm so sorry. I'm sure our bloodline will end with these misfits. Mom puts her hands together, apologetically in front of the pictures of our Grandma and Grandpa. In case you're wondering, our grandparents are still alive and well. Excuse me, you're talking smack about us, boy. What were you like when you were young? How young are we talking? with college age. College age, I was the fourth time. College was the fourth time. <laughs> college was the fourth time I was popular with men. I had men crawling all over me. Uh, all over you? Aiko, you're far too childish. You have to be more aggressive. Become a man eater. M man eater? Aha! I can't believe you. Stop blushing every at every little thing. Okay, put down your needle. It's time for some hands-on lessons. Uh, okay. A hand-on le on hands-on lesson here. What is this? What is this dialogue? What is this dialogue? You ready? Let's start with dick grabbing. I'm ready, Sensei. What the hell are they thinking? You can't just randomly grab someone's dick. That's a crime. Okay, you're gonna play the role of the boyfriend. What? No fucking way! Why? We don't have a choice. You're the only one here with a dick. This mother's true. This mother's treating her own son as nothing more than a dick representative. Come on, I go hurry up. That cock's not gonna grab itself. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I go seriously grew up my dick! Is this where it comes to? Is this really... Like... What is wrong with this family? Like, they're... You know what I mean? They're from, like, whatever Japan... The... The... The, uh, the Alabama and Japan. That's where they came from. The, one of the prefectures that are basically like the Alabama of Japan, you know? Because what the... What the hell? What, what? See, my brain is going like, uh... It goes without saying that a man's stick is his vital area. Got it? But you have to be hard pitched to find a man who normally has theirs out. Obviously. Now, grab the vital area again. You can be as rough as you... <laughs> it can be as rough as last time. Don't bother with any tender body contact stuff. Just go for the gore! Uh, okay! Once your vital area has grabbed... Has... <laughs> once your vital area has been grabbed... Shyness means nothing anymore! Which is why the first one to grab the vital area wins! As long as you can tell what they want after that! You got it in the bag! I, I don't get it! What do you mean you got it in the bag? You see? When someone's holding your dick, you feel relaxed! If a man can't sleep at night, hold his dick. It has a relaxing effect on the male brain. Huh? Is that true, Winnie-chan? Uh... I can't deny it. It makes too much sense. Long story short, 
just grab his dick and it will relax him. Then just sit down in the seat next to him and smile. While I won't say it's foolproof, I can guarantee it will win him over 80% of the time. Um, I'm pretty sure the guy will just think of her as an easy lay. There's a high probability the two of them will end up fucking each other each other's brains out. something you don't you do hear a lot of romance and academia are both trial and error you just have to give it a shot and learn from your failures in that sense both Aiko and I may be at a disadvantage since we've been per what what is that pessimistic about romance until now I wouldn't be surprised if other people thought the way about us anyway Yours doesn't seem useful at all. If if grabbing dick could get you any man you want, then there wouldn't be a single woman in the world without a relationship problem. Eh. Uh. If dick grabbing if grabbing a dick could get you any man you wanted, then there wouldn't be a single woman in the world with relationship problems. Yeah, and suddenly grabbing someone's dick is putting the bar a little too high, don't you think? Beans, I call. Yes, I have. And it was way more intense than I even imagined. Huh? Are you serious? Who did you kiss? Eat. Uh, hey, I go. What the hell do you think you're saying? Who cares who it was with? It got nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with me. Who was it? Who did you kiss? Bring him over here sometime. Anyway, that's a surprise. I never expected you to actually be that close with any of your classmates. Oh my god. Stop it, I Stop. She's gonna say your brother. Stop it. She's gonna find out. He's not a classmate. He's only... He's a working adult. A working adult? What? You're not committing adultery, are you? You better not be screwing up their lives. I'm not screwing up anyone's lives. I don't think I'll be able to tolerate anyone who... Willing to cheat in the first place. Oh, that's fine then. Though, I do think I'm doing something worse in a, in a certain sense. You're doing something worse? I'm losing my cool just thinking about what you might be doing. Just bring him here already. My god. I can't. I'm sure you'll be against it. I'd rather die to introduce you to him. My god. You'd rather die to introduce him? Then who the hell can he be? What the hell are you doing that's worse than adultery? Oh my god, oh my god! This is terrible! I don't like where this is going! Stop it! Stop! So you're gonna find out! At least show me a picture! I don't have any! He won't let me take any! Are you willing to just accept that? Okay, then throw a portrait of him! Um, well, I guess I can do that. She's gonna draw her brother. Uh, uh, ten minutes later. Please? <laughs> I, guys, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at this guy. Look at me. Look at this guy. Does that look like me at all? Who is she with? I don't look like that. Who is this disgusting freak? The fact that it's so detailed makes it even more upsetting. 
Mom and Aiko continue arguing for a while after that. Perhaps Aiko inherits her mother's stubbornness. They scream back and forth at each other until the very end. My lord. I was scared that she was going to find out. What was the whole thing of grabbing his dick? What? What the f- What? Bruh, what the f- Okay, calm down. It's just a game. It's just a game. It's even- It's now evening. I managed to escape the ruckus this afternoon- This afternoon and read in peace for a while. I feel like I'm living in the lap- in the lap of luxury to be able to read in an air-conditioned room in the summer. Got the moment? Hmm? She knows. I'm going to- I'm going to grandma's for a bit. Here's some money. Go eat out somewhere with Aiko. She hands me 50,000 yen. Your father says he's staying out of work overnight. So- and I don't think he'll- I'll be coming back either. So make sure you lock up, okay? Got it. Thanks. I'll be going then. Take care of the house! You know exactly what they're gonna do. You know exactly what him and Ike are gonna do. <sighs> okay. Um. Um. Uh, so. Ike and I are all alone tonight, huh? Wait. No, 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 no. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What are you thinking? Hey, Ike. Mom asked us to eat out tonight. Though, I guess we could get something delivered, too. Delivered? Yeah, Dad's spending the night at work. And Mom said she's going to Grandma's, so she took the car. I see. Anything we want to eat? She gave us 50,000 yen, so we can splurge on anything... <laughs> splurge on something. We can order a pizza. We can eat three bowls of Rama... <laughs> Fuck, let me drink some water. I can't, I can't deal with this Alabama thing. I hate that I gotta go to work today. I hate it. I would've been drinking right now. Drowning all of this, all of this down. No, stop. We can, we can eat three bowls of ramen apiece and still have change. Oh, sure, but it's not a bother to you, is it? Not at all. I've always liked filling your belly, Oni chan. And with that, Aiko triumphantly heads down to the first floor. All joking aside, Aiko's home cookie is delicious. It just got that, just like Mama used to make taste. I'll help too. I figure I can't let my little sister take all the glory. I need to show off my sick culinary skills. <laughs> yeah, because it was a Z. <laughs> okay, then you can cut the bell peppers on the chopping board over there. You got it. I and I have decided to make summer vegetable curry. It's gonna have an extra bell pepper, which is just just the way I like it. I is going to cook some cream of, of broccoli soup to go with it. That sounds terrible. That just sounds terrible. Okay, hold on. The curry sounds okay, but vegetable curry? Okay, it sounds alright, right? But the broccoli- the cream of broccoli soup? That just sounds terrible. It's like a terrible dinner, like... You got any rice or like, you know, any meat or something? Like... I get it, if you're a vegan. But even then, it's like, that's too much vegetable. Like, where's the fruit? Where's the, like, the nuts? Like, peanuts, almonds, whatever. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> you seem to be in a good mood. Yep, because we're cooking together. It's been so long since we last did this. Has it? Aiko glances at the sofa. Yeah, I suppose it's been a while since the two of us cooked. When we were very little, the two of us used to cook by ourselves a lot, didn't we? We spent the whole time arguing about the right way to cook. You, you call those arguments? 
All I remember was you yelling at me unliterally. Oh, I did do that. One time you boinked me on the head with a pot lid after I let the miso soup boil over. I, I never did that. In fact, I was always worried about you. Aiko seemed through my attempts to mess with her memories. Now that I think about it, though, Aiko and I have a lot of experience watching the house together, huh? Stop it. Like, it's so wholesome right now. Stop it. I know where this is going. I know it. Like, earlier, like, they were, like, you know, grabbing... They were grabbing his, you know? His, his, um, you know? His pito. His, um, dingaling. His, um, you know? His ball. Uh, like, everything. Like, his dick. Like, I know where this is going. It happens every time after the date. They do... The, you know, the ink, er, ink, er, ink, er, and I'm just like, no, stop, stop, stop with this Alabama shit, man. Okay, Onion Chan, which is the onion, Scotty? Got it. Aiko's a smaller size than me. As soon as we met, I became her big brother, and she became my little sister. At least, that's what our parents told us, but it didn't click right anyway. Click right, right away. At first, Aiko didn't say much, to the point that I thought she hated me. You know... Hmm? I really was lonely after... after all. When you started living by yourself, I haven't found myself standing here in the kitchen all alone. Uh... I know I need to wean... wean... <laughs> I know I need to wean myself away from you, only chan but... I guess I'm still a kid after all. But please, could you help me today? I really love spending time in the kitchen cooking with you. Aiko finally minces the boiled broccoli. She seems to know her way around the kitchen, and she looks really happy too. Oh, and then I'm going to make a sardine. Okay, now that. This is a meal. Like with your curry and your broccoli. Not, you know what I mean? Like you need like a meat, you need something. Beans even! Beans! Something, or bread también, you know? Mm. Okay, then I'm gonna make a sardine and kidney bean garnish, okay? Ooh, it's been a while since I've seen that. You like that, right? I still remember every single food you enjoyed. Seriously? That's kind of creepy, actually. Yeah, yeah, say what, say what you will. But man, I forgot all about the sardine and kidney garnish. It wasn't until she mentioned it that I realized I do like it. Does Aiko seriously have a complete understanding of the things I like? If that's true, then that's quite something. I wish she put all the effort towards doing something for herself instead. You know, whenever you get something you like, it's written all over your face. I see. I guess I can't keep a poker face with you, huh? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I should drink some water because this voice really hurts my throat. Mm. Okay, once you're done cutting the onions, cut these potatoes and carrots and then... A notebook falls on the edge of the table. Hmm? Is this a recipe book? I scan through through the use and tattered notebook. Hmm. Hey, what is this? Uh. The pages are jam-packed with daily entries covered covering my likes and dislikes. Aiko's beautiful handwriting details even the most subtle reactions. I've had the <laughs> I've had to most of the meals see <laughs> subtle reactions I had. I have had to most of the meals she have seen me eat. The dates written on each entry are from years ago. Stop it. She was in love with you all this time as kids. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Um, can you give that back? J sure. 
I hand Aiko back the notebook. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, no shit. That was indeed a recipe book, but it was also sort of a personal database of things I like. You seriously, legitimately, scientifically reached my tastes. But what's wrong with that? I'm doing it because I want to. I try recalling the past a little. The rice porridge I could made when I had a cold? The candy she would make sometimes? The feast she prepared for my birthdays? Mm. It feels like she only ever cooks things I like. And now it makes sense. The notebook explains it all. For years, Aiko has been researching my likes and dislikes about me knowing. That's not a simple hobby or past- No, it's not. It's not a simple hobby or pastime. Like, who- Who does it? Look, look, I have brothers. I have sisters. You can tell me- Okay, let me see. I know what they kind of like, but- but you know what I mean? It's like, I've seen it. Like, my brother wears all black and he has like bands on his shirt. So it's like, he's into heavy metal and all that. My sister, she's like me, rap and everything. I don't have a notebook on everything they like. Like food, you know what I mean? What kind of people they like. I don't have none of that. Like, like what is wrong with you, Aiko? Aiko! And I know I'm saying you're right your name wrong because it's Akko. Your name is Akko. But I'm going to say Aiko because you're... <sighs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. It's more like she must be... I I'm sorry. This must be gross, right? It's creepy, isn't it? Without me even realizing it, she had poured her heart into this notebook. Now that I know this, I'm not confident I can hold back my my own feelings you know in all my long years in all my long years of life no woman has cared this much about me no woman except for Aiko who stands right before me I mean you're such a big eater on each turn and you're pretty picky too I was thinking of handing this over this recipe book to your bride once you got married Aiko. Yes. Uh, 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 um, uh, I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. I want to make love to you right here, right now. I embraced Aiko tightly and in a daze set my tongue into her mouth. Aiko twits at first, but she accepts my kiss without a hint of hesitation. She slowly wraps her arms around my back. Honey-chan, I want to continue where we left off the other day. Will you go all the way with me this time? Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Aiko, <laughs> stop. Okay, okay, I, I'm a YouTuber. I've done so many of these visual novels. So many. This one's not gonna... No. No. This one's not gonna stop me. Okay? Go, okay. Aiko. I found... I've fallen deeply in love with you. Despite the intimate mood, Aiko cries in, il <laughs> in elation. Taken by the sight, I can't stop myself from pushing her onto the living room sofa right away. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't even do the... No. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. You're related. You're related. 
I, I hope the parents walk in on them. I hope the dad's like, oh yeah, they let me out. Um, oh yeah, they let me out of work early. Or the mom comes in like, oh yeah, grandma wasn't feeling well, so I had to come back in. Oh my god! Uh. Uh, damn it! They're in their room, in his room. They're sleeping in the same bed. Such foolishness! You have your own apartment. You could have taken taken her there or something, man. Like, why do you have to do it in your own parents' house where they can find out? Honey, Chan, are you awake? Mm -mm. Y yeah, I'm awake. I was just thinking about something. I look at the time. It's past 10 p.m. Even though this was our first time tonight, Maya and Aiko's desire knew no bounds. When I close my eyes, I can still see Aiko's cute moaning face in the back of my mind. Son of a... Stop it. Stop it. Stop. We did a lot for our first time, huh? I'm sorry, it must have hurt, huh? Yeah, it hurt so much that I, I thought I was gonna die. Uh, I, I'm sorry. When I started making love with you, my mind just went blank. Don't apologize. You made me so happy. After all, it meant I was able to turn you on. Seeing you so aroused gave me a little more confidence in myself. Aiko somehow sounds calmer and more composed than I am! I don't know if she's still basking in the afterglow, but judging by the rise and fall of her chest, she's breathing, she's breathing pretty deeply. You seem awfully calm right now. It's kind of not fair. You, you think so? Uh. I lightly tease Aiko's private parts. Well, it has been soaking with her love juices and my semen just a bit ago. A little bit ago, we've taken a bath and cleaned it up. All I have to do is play with it a little, and Aiko starts thriving around before my ha my eyes. Oh, chan you pervert! Call me what you will. It's your fault for being so damn cute. Don't blame me. I could grasp my hand tightly. Say, what do you think's gonna happen to us from now on? What? Are you worried? Relax. I'm not gonna let. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you go until the day I die. Mm. We're tougher. We're together forever until death do us part. Take this as a proposal if you want. After all, I've always loved you. Um, I know it's a little, little to be asking this, but were you at least vaguely aware of my feelings, weren't you? Yeah, that's why you left home once you started college, right? Yeah, but if we were going to end up like this anyway, we should have gotten together. We should have gotten, <laughs> stop, we should have gotten together way earlier. What are you smiling about? I hope you pre you're prepared from this moment on. This is the real deal. You're my honest to god girlfriend now. That's what I've been hoping for. <laughs> hoping it would have happened. Ever since that day you made you made a move on me. Uh yeah, honestly, it's been kind of the same for me. The two of us continue talking to the night. Taking our clothes off again to feel each other more directly. I love you, Oni Chan, with all of my heart. I love you too. We whisper our love to each other over and over until we fall in asleep. Stop it! Stop! Making I don't know how to feel about this at all. I know they're gonna find out. The mom's gonna. Like right now, look at this. Stop, stop, just stop it. I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. Because let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something about next episode. 
look, uh, where is it? They talked, right? Then they took off their clothes to feel each other more directly. No, there's no way the parents are not walking in next episode. There is no, no way. And I'm going to end it because I cannot handle these emotions right now. I, I can't, I, I, I can't, man. It just, I don't, I don't, I don't get it at all. I just don't. What's the people? Oh, we're not blood related. No, that's your sister though. You know, stop it. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> okay. I need to clean myself. I feel, Global Stalker, you made me feel dirty. You made me feel dirty, fool. I feel dirty just playing this game. I knew I was going to hate it, but I hate it so much. I feel dirty, man. I need to go take a shower. <laughs> Alrighty. If you like this episode, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications to see whenever I post, and leave a comment. And tell me, am I the only one feeling uncomfortable right now? I cannot be the only one feeling uncomfortable. I can't, okay? And if you're like, and if you're like, I, I don't feel uncomfortable at all, go pick up the game, go on Steam, go pick up the game, and play it. It's a good thing I, I don't have the stupid pads to, like, see them, you know, er, 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 because I would have, my mind would have just died. Alrighty. Well then, this is Gats saying farewell. And no, I'm not doing the stupid voices, okay? And as always, bye-bye.